everyone! Today I have something to show you. Um, I got a little treat for myself. It's the TES 100 soldering iron. I read the article on Hacker Day and it's an open source soldering iron. I know I didn't need that but uh, I wanted to get it so I get it. Uh, let me take a look. Let me unbox it. This is the gray case and this is the soldering iron. I think the gray case is kind of boring so I'm going to uh, switch tab to another case. I got another case for it. I got a clear case for this so I'm going to uh, change it now. This one, I think I need another um, screw for this. So I'm going to get um, this one is kind of like a, a star shape. I don't know what it called. Star shape screw. I use this tool instead of my finger now because um, if I use my finger now, I probably will tear all of them. Uh, there are more screws inside. Let's try it out. So I need more new LED pigtail rings and I guess this is a good chance for me to demonstrate the TS100 sorting iron. I've got this controller here. There is no RF remote and it's just very really simple cheap controller. Um, I'm not even using the Arduino. So, uh, but first I need to cut the heated uh, shrimp tube here. So it's a very uh, delicate work, gotta be careful, I don't want to cut into the wire and uh, the PCB board. So you see on the board there are three buttons here and uh, I'm going to replace the heat, heat tea shrimping tool with the black one because it uh, matched with my hair color I can uh, cover the wire and heat hide it in my hair
it is a bit snug. first because sometimes I'm a little clumsy and I destroy things. Let's plug in the LED uh, strip so that I could test this see if it's okay. I'm going to tin it. You know, a lot of times I forget to tin it, but this time I remember. So now I'm going to uh, plug in my um, uh, soldering iron. And once I press the button, it's going to heat up automatically. Uh, I thought I bought a stand uh, for my new soldering iron, but I guess I didn't. It never arrived, so I need to um, take a look later. And um, my old filter broke, so I bought a new one online, but it hasn't arrived yet. I know the fuse is um, bad, but don't worry, the filter, the new filter is on the way. Thank you. 
Of course, dot dot dot. I still have to you know uh, group them together like this. I put uh, a, a little wires uh, uh, to uh, connect the uh, battery pack and the board, and then I'm going to use the hot glue to uh, attach the board to the battery pack. So it has been a few days. I was busy doing other stuff, but now let's get back to what we were doing. Uh, last time I made the battery pack, I glued them together, and this time I'm going to show you how I made the uh, LED pigtail rings. And before I do that, I also want to show you um, the earrings I made. It's the same principle as the uh, LED uh, pigtail rings. At the back, the difference is I put some epoxy grooves on the top because the wire is not uh, strong enough. So from here you can see. And um, I used the Chinese uh, silicone wire instead of... Actually, I have, you know what? I have the really nice either the uh, clear wire from Adafruit. But it's really hard to get in China. But if you are in uh, US, I strongly suggest you to get some from them because this quality is really nice. I usually save all the Adafruit stuff in the box in case um, I'm going to make something really nice and show up with them. I will use the Adafruit stuff. But uh, this time I'm just going to use the uh, Chinese silicone wire. It's cheap and it's easy to get here. Uh, don't use the ordinary. Uh, don't use the ordinary uh, wire. Don't use use the one the because they're very stiff, and they might pull your hair. Uh, your hair might strength uh, in 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 the wire. So don't use this kind. And uh, at uh, this part that where you connect with the battery pack. Uh, I use this one. I put some silicone patty on the top. And this is actually called the Sue Group. When I put it on, it takes off some stress from the wire. And the choker, um, it can handle the weight of the battery when I put it on. So this is the soldering version. I just put some Sue Group uh, uh, after I solder them. And same thing over here. So I'm going to make this version this time. I'm going to cut up some wires. Still messy, my workbench. Just going to separate the wires. Use my um, wire stripper to strip the line, and then I'm just going to tape the wires before I do the solder. Get the LED rings. So we've got the uh, LED rings in here. And I don't actually need all the pins here, so I'm going to uh, remove one of them. So I'm going to remove the uh, last one.
short arm. Right now they're both working. Uh, I ordered some uh, suguru on Taobao, so I'm just waiting for them to arrive. Then I can uh, put it on. Then it will be finished. So my suguru finally uh, arrived. Actually, this one is called Baoi. Um, it's a Shanzai version of suguru. I feel kind of bad. First, I cannot uh, afford it. If I could, I would definitely buy the wheel stuff. So if you are going to uh, get some, definitely buy it, uh, buy it uh, from her because she, uh, the inventor, she's a very cool lady. Okay, this one we are going to use it on. Um, we are going to put it on the LED rings where we do the soldering here, and also at the end here. Uh, to prevent it from uh, to prevent it to break away. But first, I have to break up uh, the side. This stuff is really cool. It's like clay and play-doh. It's quite sticky, so I suggest uh, to use uh, gloves when you put this on. The silicone padding really, you know, helps from uh, help the wire helps the wire from breaking away. And it can cover the bare wire. I really like it. It's super useful. Okay, now we just need to wait till uh, after 10 hours. I will come back and check it out.